What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I want to go over a certain number of points from the latest Bungie weekly update. They talk mostly about the mass complaints regarding skill based matchmaking. Do they address it? Yes they do. Do they announce a fix? No they do not. First things first though, I ain't attacking any other Destiny YouTuber here, but I ain't one to hold back. If I feel the game is letting us down one way or another, I will speak out about it. Even if this puts me on bad terms with Bungie, at the end of the day, at least I ain't lying to you guys. So let's get straight into it. So basically they start the weekly update stating the following. Equal opportunities. The Siege engine is not the only machine we're dissecting this week. We're also cracking open the machinations of the Crucible to show you what's inside. Since last weekend, we've seen a resurgence of conversation about matchmaking. This always tends to be an emotional topic. Crucible matchmaking was designed to be as fast and fair as possible. These are complex systems that serve millions of players. More people enjoying the Crucible means healthier matchmaking pools and a stronger community overall. We hear your feedback about how that should work. Here are some facts on the matter provided by our matchmaking quality overlords team. When it comes to matchmaking, here are our design goals. Provide you with a clean connection to your fellow players. Keep the time you spend in orbit between matches to a minimum. Set a match between you and a worthy opponent in that order. Here's how we go about finding you a match. Firstly, we identify a pool of available players with a good connection to you. Within that pool we choose players closely matched to your personal skill rating. If you can't find players within that pool, we widen the variance in skill. If that doesn't work, we expand the search again with a more variance in connection quality. Once enough players are selected, we break them out into equally skilled teams. Note: Skill is not a factor in the trials of service. You are matched against players with good connections and similar scorecards. That's a gross simplification of some complicated engineering. To summarise, connection quality is always the highest priority factor in Destiny matchmaking. It's the first criteria for the search and it's the last value we're willing to compromise to set the match. When possible, we introduce you to opponents that will put up a respectable fight, but not at the expense of a good connection. We strive for the ideal, but life on the internet is chaotic, so it's inevitable that we'll see red bars or matches that end up with the enforcement of the mercy rule. Now they do say a few other things, but nothing in my opinion worth mentioning. Now if all that seems a little confusing to you, let me put it short for you. Basically they are saying, what we have now, whether that's skill based matchmaking or connection based matchmaking, it's fucking staying and fuck all you who are complaining. Now my issue is not with skill based matchmaking, my issue is with the lag which I'm assuming comes with skill based matchmaking. Which I have said all along, skill based matchmaking does not work on a game without dedicated servers. And I stick by that statement. Now let's quote and debunk some of the things they state. When it comes to matchmaking, here are our design goals. Provide you with a clean connection to your fellow guardians. Bullshit! This rarely happens. When it comes to matchmaking, here are our goals. Keep the time you spend in orbit between matches. Bullshit! I spend more time in orbit searching for a game than I do in that damn game. When it comes to matchmaking, our design goals are set a match between you and a worthy opponent. Bullshit! A worthy opponent who has a lag on his side, so it ain't fucking worthy. It does truly make me laugh. The issues so many people are having and have made real clear, Bungie just basically fobbing them off. Let's quote and debunk them again. Here's how we go about finding you a match. Firstly, we identify a pool of available players with a good connection to you. A good connection to me? Is this a fucking joke? I live in Europe, a very populated place. Why the fuck am I playing kids in Australia while kangaroos are jumping over their fucking houses? Within that pool, we choose players closely matched to your personal skill rating. What? In fucking Australia? If you can't find players within that pool, we widen the variance in skill. Yes, to fucking Australia. If that doesn't work, we expand the search again with more variance in connection quality. Great, more fucking kangaroos. Once enough players are selected, we break them out into equally skilled teams. Bull fucking shit. Earlier today I was playing solo, fucking bitches up with my Nolan Beyond. Then I got matched against a team of four and a team of two on the same damn team. Every fucker on my team was playing solo, so yes, that makes complete sense. 
it's just fucking bullshit. And what makes it worse is there's no mention of nerfing shotguns or the Clever Dragon. Judging by this week's weekly update, no doubt within next week's weekly update they will announce a patch where they are buffing shotguns and the Clever Dragon and nerfing Fox Given about what we think. On that note, I am out. Let me know your opinion down below in that comment section. Thanks for stopping by as always. A like is always much appreciated and I'll catch you on that next one. Thank <laughs> you.